And while that unfolded inside the Capitol building, outside was chaos as well. ABC 7 Shelby Montgomery spoke with El Pasoans who were there, a journalist covering the story and a pro-Trump supporter at the protest. She's live with that perspective. Shelby. Stephanie, today many of us witnessed history, some of us watching it through our TV screens on all over social media. I spoke to two El Pasoans who were there outside the Capitol as that chaos was unfolding, witnessing history firsthand. A scene of chaos outside the United States Capitol building. Protesters violently pushing against security to get past the barrier. The police department there trying to hold the crowd back as they chant USA. Police being pushed as they make their way through the crowd. A journalist and former ABC7 reporter Julio Cesar Chavez there to cover the story. At the Capitol where uh, the crowd uh, was really loud, really violent when I originally got here. Chavez saying he came prepared. Um, I wore not only my normal bulletproof vest that will stop the 9 millimeter heat again, but also wore rifle plates on top of that, which offers just extra protection. Once he arrived, here's what he saw. There were police that were using flashbang grenades and riot shields to push the protest back. Um, they did push them back. They ended up, uh, police ended up getting control of the north side entrance. They used uh, tear gas, they used pepper spray. Also there, El Paso win and former candidate for Senate, Bethany Hatch. There with her friends to watch the president speak. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. After a speech, they made their way to the Capitol. We got there a little bit after the first flash bomb went off. We didn't hear them. We heard that they had gone off. Um, and we saw people breaching the, the barriers at the Capitol. And we just stayed back, um, just kind of observed what was going on. And we weren't there very long. Hatch and Chavez seeing the chaos in real time, while many of us watch from home. Well, Hatch says she was not expecting the protests to turn out the way it did. She says this is the culmination of what the country has become, and elected officials have the duty to represent the voice of the people. Julio Cesar Chavez says he is expecting to head back to the Capitol tomorrow morning. Live in West El Paso, Shelby Montgomery, ABC7.